Hi everyone, it's Miguel Silva here from Uniplato School and welcome to Grad's Teacher Tips. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the teaser. So I'm gonna demonstrate here first and talk about some struggles that typically our clients have. And I will give you some tips to try to find the solution. So let's see first on the reformer. So guys, here I am ready to do the first teaser and the first struggle as well. You know, those clients, on the start of the movement, they get here stuck and like, oh, I cannot go. They go really flat or they, they leave the handles behind as well instead of having the flow of lifting everything at the same time. The other one, it's when they lower the hands, they do like this. Okay, they just lean back as well instead of just doing the up and downs and keeping this round position. Okay, and the roll down as well should be the same flow as we have on the way up. How are we gonna find a solution for these little struggles? Let's see. Okay guys, so here I am for the first tip. So I'm gonna use my guillotine. I know that some students who don't have guillotine, I'll give you another solution. So look what I'm positioning on my guillotine. So when I stretch my arms, I almost touch the bar but I will not touch. So give, uh, give this space for me. The reference is my head, and it's close to the edge of the mat after the guillotine, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna my arms towards to the bar, chin on the chest, and this is the position when I grab the bar. And now I'm gonna work this line here. I hope you guys can see it from there. It's the one that we typically struggle in the teaser. And the same time, lifting my feet and head, and make it round, round, round round so i've got exactly the same spot and practice the roll down as well by resisting the bar okay so i'm going to do one more flow so here i go head first keeping the round feeling my gaze in the belly button all the time and okay guys so here i am for my second tip if i don't have uh, the guillotine I will use my Cadillac or even a whole units as well. So the position, I try to feel that the tip of my shoulder blades are almost out. I try to have that similar angle. So if I lay down, looks like I've got the box on me. Okay, and under me, obviously. Okay, so I do the same movement, chin on the chest and I'll push the bar away, pull my stomach in and I've got a very similar angle to practice the way down and the way up. One more, find that middle line again. And on the way down. And it feels really good and goes on that spot. And that's it for today's guys. Thank you so much for watching. Try it and let us know if that tip was helpful for your clients and for yourselves as well. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.